Bought a pair of sunglasses today for one pound forty nine. Totally fucking worth it. It's time for a goddamn podcast. Right, let's hit these Twitter questions. Pinball wizard at Pishrash. Cool guy. How many shits do you take in a day? Depends on how many you want, mate. You know, some days I'm like, I feel like I need a shit day. Let's have eight shits. Um, I have quite a, I have quite a heavy, quite a, I would say, intensely heavy shit pattern in the morning. You know, I like to get two or three out the door before lunch. Thanks for asking. And I also follow for a DM and we can sort out a FaceTime and that's from Bob the Pounder. We discussed this last week, if Bob the Pounder was in fact a real porn star. Hi Carl, if you want to watch my work, simply search 8th Street Latina Erica. Am I being really followed by a male porn star? I hope to God I am, because that would be one of the best podcasts ever. 8th Street Latina Erica. Let's see if you're in this. <clears throat> she didn't give any gas yet. Alright, I think that is in. If you were able to walk up behind a girl at a cash machine and be like, Hey, see so you left the money there, don't be scared at all. But we're not here for your money, we're here for your fucking puss. It's a new section. Colin... Watches porn. Um, <clears throat> for play, Bob the Pounder. I'll shout you out of my next scene. Yeah, go for it. Just as you absolutely dump one on a girl's face, I want you to go, This is for you, Colin. Good, good. There you go. One, two, three, Jeff. Okay, what an experience. Um, cheers for following anyway, Bob the Pounder. If that's your real second name. Would you rather get r rate by Jimmy Savile or a blowjob for a great... Probably r rate by Jimmy Savile because it's only a rape if he can do it. You know, and there's no way in fuck. I mean, there's a reason why he lingered around children's hospitals. You know, he's not hanging around like an MMA club going, who wants raped? That was more Bruce Forsyth. What's happening, guys? Uh, because me and girlfriend Maureen kind of work, she's, she's usually very busy at the weekend. Let's go with her shot. She's usually very busy at the weekend, and I've been very busy Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today's Tuesday. We are going to get full fucked up in the house with our good friend Connor Begley. Getting the cocks out. This one's mine, Morgan. What one are you having? Everybody smile! Everybody smile for the venture! <laughs> What's happening? I need lots of sausage. <laughs> Don't come looking for In me. In my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Maureen, yeah? show your sausage excitement. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're the coolest glasses gang in Tyrone right now. <laughs> Let's just park it on, man. <laughs> That's another tree park. I eat a fucking dick. I swear to fucking God. I mean, what is happening here? Terrible sausage. <laughs> that was a good kick, Maureen. That was like fucking Rome no gar. Are you dropping? I know. And you kicked them into space. What's happening, people? It's Thursday, day of upload. Went to a personal trainer earlier, which I didn't take a camera to, but I'll take it next time, just so you can get a laugh at me trying to deadlift. Not gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie, guys. My titties are aching. I've just been reminded today by the rest of uh, the comedy squad, the General Bander comedy squad, that our huge gig at the Ulster Hall in Belfast, which is on the 29th of October, is sort of just under about two months away. We're basically, we have a bunch of guys, me, Mickey Bartlett, Kieran Bartlett, Dave Elliott, 
Aaron McCann, Rory Woods. I've all been gigging in Belfast doing stand-up for a number of years now. We've all sort of gigged together at Lavery's Comedy Club, which is the comedy club that I run in Belfast. And it's just got to the point now where we're like, let's let's maybe do something crazy. Let's let's book a big gig. So we booked a big gig at the Ulster Hall in Belfast. The world famous Ulster Hall. Everyone's played there. Led Zeppelin and Rory Gallagher. That's about the only people I can remember. We're going to be playing there on the 29th of October. All six of us. Uh, we're going to do about 20 minutes each. So it's like a two like a two hour show basically. It's going to be fucking brilliant. Just because I remember that today. Here is some very shitty GoPro footage of the day we went for a photo shoot. Trying to make six fat bitches look fucking cool, basically. You probably think Rory Woods isn't that fat. Think again. He's a fat bastard. Check out the footage. I need to piss and I need to shit. Piss and shit. Everyone's stressed out. 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 It's pretty sweet between the three of us, there's one cool guy. Who do you hold us? I'm bossing for a shit. You can't just go for a shit. Why not? Because you'll, you'll give it to me like that. Aaron said on the bus earlier it's been a good year for rap. It has. But it has been a good year for rap, actually. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> it's my, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Black Lives Matter as my new comedy character. Only joking Simpson. OJ. Huh? Joke that was killing it. Aaron. He's the greatest guy, though. Wasn't expecting that. I can't think about him. Here, get a shot of me doing a backflip off this Go. Did you see that? Yeah. I'll wait, wait until the actual day of the show. Did you see that? How quick can you work up a heart on? Panoramic for fucking the loaf, McCann. <laughs> Aaron's never smiled like that his entire life. <laughs> serving up tonight? Tonight I'm serving up 90s grunge. Serving up 90s realness. The realness. I'm serving up 90s grunge. Serving up 90s grunge realness. I'll probably make toast.